There we go. Nice load of pipe. What's up, guys? Uh, been sitting here for two hours now, getting loaded with this pipe, reels, reels of pipe, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're actually one minute into our 11 hour clock. I really don't like this stuff. It falls back on the whole chain thing. You can't really get them extremely tight on both sides. I sure as heck don't have enough uh, binders for both sides, so. We'll run it 50 miles, we'll stop and tighten it up and we'll run another 50. And See how it looks from there and keep going if we need to. Um, I was going to try to make it to the tire place today. Unfortunately, they close at 5. And... Um, they're closed on Saturdays. So oh, that really sucks. So hopefully I can get over to them tomorrow. If not, I'm just gonna keep a close eye on the tire and try to get it done. If I can't get it tomorrow, I'm probably gonna get it done either at the Loves or the TA. Cause I can't, I can't hold this tire off for too long. Uh, I'm worried that it'll end up end up blowing out on me. And uh, last thing I want to do, I don't mind if one of the back ones blow. If one of those blow, I'll limp it wherever I need it to go. I will cut that, that tire off the rim if I have to before I pay the, the road service. In a half mile, turn left on West River Road South. I'm going to take a quick look at the thing. Son of a... Ugh. I was worried about that. I came down, it's a little bit of a, an incline uh, coming out of the exit driveway after I got loaded. And my, my little bar that my airlines hang on, the rail came right down and bent it. And didn't bend it in half, but it... Bent it pretty good. Right in the center. The ring can still get through it, but... I gotta get that headache rack move. I really don't, don't the only reason I haven't done it yet is because uh, I'm worried about the U-bolts. Since they've been on there for 10 months, um, I'm worried they're gonna snap when I when I when I take them off. So if I get down to Kentucky next week, I'm just going to buy a new set of U-bolts. Take the day off right there in Kentucky. Uh, I'm gonna pop them U-bolts off. I'm going to take the. In a quarter mile, turn left on. I'm not sure West exactly what, road, it's, what it is. MS. Turn right in 600 but it's, uh, feet little can that's on the condenser unit on the back. I'm going to unbolt that, drop it down, zip tie it, because I don't even use the, 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 the I don't even use the thing. It's not even working right now anyway. Um, but I'm going to zip tie it down lower so that it's not in the way. 
and that'll allow me to push my headache rack back without having to move the entire condenser. But I want to get the U-bolts before it's 700 I... 700 feet, turn left on West River Road South, and then turn right in 600 feet. Before I go messing with it, I'm taking a chance on not being able to bolt it back in place. Besides the fact those freaking U-bolts were way too big for this thing. The other thing I gotta do is I gotta vacuum all the rust out of the inside of the headache rack. Clean that out. I'll do that at home, but I gotta clean all that out. And then uh, waterproof it. I think where I drilled holes in to put that, that bar across for the airlines. Because I didn't waterproof that those bolts. I didn't put in uh, um, I'm not sure what the heck they call them, watertight washers or whatever. silicone and, and go around the bolt there make sure it's nice and tight uh, whatever I got to do to prevent the water from going in there and getting all rusty once I know for sure that it stops it's the water stops going in there and getting all rusty then I'll probably buy new chains because um, those ones are freaking shot from from all the water getting in there but so that's it for now. We're gonna get this knocked out. We got 523 miles. Uh, GPS ETA is eight eight o'clock tonight. Um, so 10 hour break. I got an ETA set for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, I should be able to get there by eight o'clock tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna check this tire in probably about an hour and see how it's looking um, I think I can make it through to tomorrow but fingers crossed all right see you in a minute
guys we are done for the night been here for about an hour and a half actually went over my time about half an hour a little over half an hour might get yelled at in the morning um so again i am at another ta <laughs> greasy forehead um, so again I'm out of TA and it was just a matter of making it to somewhere I tried stopping at a rest area um, before I got here and that place was just completely jam-packed so there was nowhere to stop there uh, I'm off of 94 exit 1 in Illinois um, Wadsworth Wadsworth, Illinois. Um, and unfortunately, I paid for a parking spot. <laughs> I swear. I should have just kept my damn mouth shut. Uh, so, a little recap of after I got loaded. I hurried up and got to Perrysburg, Ohio, and topped the tank off the tanks off um, and then after that I stopped over in Lake Station uh, because the load that I'm picking up tomorrow requires an eight foot eight foot drop so I really needed my as mainly I really needed the one my one tarp fixed uh, that's got a giant hole in it so that cost me $75 uh, the guy was going on and on saying how extremely busy they were and uh, then I told him you know I really needed done for the night and I couldn't stay the night I had to keep rolling I only had about 45 minutes to stop which I didn't even have that long I just um, it was how much time I was willing to give up uh, to get it done so that I didn't have to sit out there tonight trying to patch it or tomorrow while I'm getting loaded trying to get the tarp patch myself um, and the, the hole is just so big that I don't mind patching um, you know a six inch rip but this thing was this thing was probably about two and a half feet long of a rip 
in one direction and then it it ripped another foot and a half the other direction so it, it was like an L shape uh, plus it had a bunch of little rips right with it uh, the guy ended up charging me $75 to repair it and then he also uh, then he also repaired another um, I would say about a foot long tear in the tarp uh, so that's the tarps in pretty good shape now uh, that was only only real tears that I had in it. I got a couple little tiny holes in there about about two three inches long that I'm not worried about in the slightest bit um, I plan on getting rid of those tarps anyway but I need them for right now to get you know especially this load coming up you know it's a $3,100 load and they had another one that didn't require a tarp that was $2,300 load $2,300 load that was going to Jersey or Pennsylvania so it wasn't much mileage left, much less in mileage and it only had it had one stop versus two stops um, I rather tarp the load for 3100 on 1100 miles so so that's that um, now tomorrow I've also between today and yesterday uh, I've been trying to find out prices for tires and stuff uh, I was checking the best one tire. I think they are the ones I'm definitely going to go through for my drives. Um, but for what they priced out for steers, I, I believe I'm actually going to go through the TA for the steers. I just got a quote for 800 and... Oh, there it is. eight hundred sixty seven dollars and eighteen cents out the door um, it is cheap tires I'm not getting anything special I'm not going you know Goodyear or Michelin I got Michelin's on here right now uh, or no I have Bridgestone's on here right now um, I'm going right with the cheapest tire the Dayton tire because I really need to get the finances in order, uh, and and the biggest problem is I am lazy. I've told you guys this many times. I am very lazy. I like to take my time off. I like to do what I need to do, and then go home and stay home for a few days. Um, so, what would happen is when I would stay home for not just three days, you know, when I would stay home for four or five, six days, uh, I end up starting to eat into my, my business money. And then on top of that, now I've been down for almost a week, I need to make the truck payment. So that would come back out of the business money. And then they would just, my money would start dwindling down and I didn't have enough to cover tires. So, I'm making a change to that. I'm going to, other than next month when I take probably a week off to go on vacation with the family, um, I'm going to start running hard and getting this money built up really quick. And uh, basically preparing myself to, within the next, well this weekend, probably tomorrow, I'm going to get my, my steers changed because I'm worried about the one failing. Um, and then within the next week or so, I plan on getting the drives done. Um, They're all gonna be extremely cheap tires. The, the steers that I'm putting on are Dayton's. Um, I'm, my only expectation is six months. If I get more than six months, great. If not, oh well. Uh, my expectation is six months, and in that six month time, I plan on having plenty enough money to get the best best tire there is. Uh, if now I've only had these Bridgestones for a year, so if I find a tire, find out those Daytons last me two years, I'll stick with the Daytons. I don't care about buying a cheap tire as long as it lasts, as long as it's worth my money. And I don't see a dramatic change in, you know, somewhere else, like fuel mileage or something along them lines. Um, so that's it. Uh, we're going to get those tires changed tomorrow. We're going to start working a little harder and 
bringing up our revenue and uh, hopefully I get the drive tires done in the next week or so if um, if not next week I'll have them done the week after that the woman inside the TA when they just gave me the rate for the steers she just told me that she had a driver walk out twenty-two hundred dollars uh, with a set of eight twenty-two hundred dollars out the door so I'm going to call best one tire tomorrow and talk to them directly I've been talking to them via email uh, but I'll call them physically call them tomorrow and find out what they can get me out the door because they had tires that were I believe a little cheaper than that they weren't giving me the one brand that I wanted to find out about um, and I want to find out what it is out the door not just what they're charging per tire I want to know the whole shebang so we'll find out a little bit more about that tomorrow but that's it for tonight thanks for watching guys stay safe we'll see you tomorrow and uh, probably going to I'm going to do my best to jump on the laptop this weekend and get the numbers put up um, I keep holding off and just not feeling like doing it uh, on top of having to shoot the video I know I have to add all the numbers I haven't put in there yet so I also want to look into another program that I just heard about but anyway thanks for watching stay safe see you tomorrow and have a good night, have a good day, whatever it is that you're watching. See you.